guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing my favorite book series ever, The Land of Stories. I haven't done a book review in a while and so I really wanted to do one again and this time I just wanted to review my absolute favorite book series ever. I love it so so much. I read it for the first time a few years ago and I just like a few months ago finished rereading it again and I... It just never gets old. It's so good and I think not a lot of people know about it that much. Um, so I just really wanted to give this book series some love today and just tell you guys what it's about and why you should read it. But before we start, make sure you guys have subscribed and click that bell that we are always notified and updated for more videos like this because, you guys, we are halfway to 2,000 subscribers. That is crazy. I love you all so, so much. So make sure you join this family. And yeah, let me know down below if you guys also have any video suggestions you'd like me to do because I always like considering your guys' recommendations. So if there's a specific video you'd like me to do, let me know down below. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get straight on to it. Okay, so The Land of Stories is a six-part book series written by one of my favorite authors ever, Chris Colfer. Uh, Chris Colfer is known for writing a lot of fantasy and adventure styled books. So if that's kind of what you're into, I really like like imagination and fairy tales and all that kind of stuff. So if, if you're into that, definitely look into this author, but specifically these books. But before we get into the storyline of the books, I just wanted to say that I got this entire box set from Amazon uh, for, I think, $100 uh, Canadian for all six books, including this really cool box that it comes in. But to be honest, like, it's pretty worth it because if you were to buy these books separately, they're usually like $20 each. So to be completely honest, it's a better deal to get it all for like $100 and plus this really cool box that I really like. So, um, I will leave the link down below if you would like to get it. There's also a paperback version, so you get it in the same box set, but they're all paperback, and it's like $60. So if you would look more into that, uh, you can that as you can get that as well. But um, yeah, I will leave this entire box set linked down below so you can check it out. The box that it comes in is super pretty and colorful and just super eye-catching. I honestly really like it. It's great for storage to keep the books in them and I don't know, it just looks really cool. So uh, I definitely love that it comes with this box and obviously the books, they just look so pretty. This is the book that started it all, The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell, which is the first book of this franchise. Oh my gosh, this book is just so good and it just really gets you sucked into this series but first of all let's take a look at this beautiful cover um oh my gosh so many cool things around it um and yeah so where do i even start basically in the first book we are introduced to two tweens um i think they're around 12 years old here alex and connor bailey which are twins uh this is alex and then this is connor um they are twins brother and sister and they are just normal kids going to a normal school but sadly the year before their dad passed away in a car crash and all they have left is their mother and their grandmother and their grandmother is their father's mom you know. And as we go on into the first few chapters, Alex gets this really cool book from her grandmother for her birthday. It is a book called The Land of the Stories, and it's filled with all of our favorite fairy tales. Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, um, Snow White, all of those classics that we've all read as little children. And those were her favorite to read, and her grandmother gets it for her for her birthday. But one night, the book starts glowing. <laughs> The book starts glowing and Alex and Connor Bailey get sucked in to the land of stories. <laughs> so in this book, these two basically go on an adventure throughout the fairy tale world that all of us imagined as we were little kids. Like, oh, I wonder what it's like to live like Cinderella or whatever. They explore it. And uh, once you open the book, you will see this really, really cool map of the fairy tale world. So they explore each of these places. So this is just, oh my gosh, basically in this book, you get to explore the real life of all of our favorite um, fairy tale characters. Then we have the second book, which is The Land of Stories, The Enchantress Returns. <gasps> you might be thinking, 
Who the heck is the Enchantress? <laughs> well, you're gonna find out when you read this book. She is not pretty. Again, look at this beautiful cover. I love this purple um, and this book is the thickest book out of the series because so much happens in this book. Um, this one is honestly better than the first one because this is where the real problems start. Like this is where their responsibilities come in. Like um, just crazy. So I'm going to read the back of the book for you quickly. Sleeping Beauty was just about to call for help when a blinding flash of violet light filled the forest. The queen screamed and fell to the ground, covering her face, but the flash lasted only a second. She smelled smoke and got to her feet and looked around. The entire forest was ablaze and every tree had been turned into a spinning wheel. There was no denying it now. The, the kingdom's great fear had come true. The Enchantress, Sleeping Beauty whispered to herself, she's back. <laughs> oh my gosh, the third book. Okay, here we go. The third book is the... When will motorcycles freaking stop driving past my street? I Anyways, um, the third book is The Land of Stories, A Grim Warning. <gasps> you guys, the series just gets better and better. Okay, so here we have another beautiful cover. This one is in red. I just love how each book has a different design of color. Like, I just love that. Um, so this one's all red. We have a dragon back here. Here we have Alex and Connor. Uh, this is two years after the first book, so they're now like 14, 15. Um, and yeah, we have some strange characters on the front cover that you'll learn about in the book and then the back of it here um and this this is gonna be a hard one to read so there's a complete summary at the back of this book but i'm just gonna read you this last paragraph because it is like spine chilling okay the happily ever after assembly watched in horror as the silhouette of a gargantian gar gargan uh gargo Gargantian? As a creature appeared above the trees, the rumors of the egg were true. A dragon had risen in the land of stories. Am I the only one that's really shocked about this? Like I read this twice and I already have like chills. Oh. So in this third book, a dragon appears in the land of fairy tales where everybody is like, la la la, and like there's fairies and mermaids and stuff. No, now a dragon appears and there is gonna be a huge plot twist at the end of this book. I'm telling you right now, read because at the, at the end of this book, you it will blow your mind something blew my mind completely after i read this book like there's a huge plot twist now we have the fourth book which is the land of stories beyond the kingdom so here we really explore more about the land of stories and we go into more lands. We now go into the land of literature where there's um wizard of oz and like what are other famous pieces of literature i can't think of anything Oh, okay, like the Queen of Hearts and stuff like that. Like, you know, those like famous pieces of literature. Well, now Alex and Connor, again, now this is three years ahead of the first book. So now they're like 15, 16, um, and they are now exploring into a completely different land for a specific reason, which I can't tell you or else I will ruin the spoilers. But uh, yeah, it's just, it gets better, honestly, like so, so cool. So they go to different stories of literature and pick, like meet those characters. Like, that's crazy. Like, Peter Pan. They meet Peter Pan. This is the fifth book, which is The Land of Stories and Author's Odyssey. And personally, this one was my least favorite to read. And no way am I saying that it was boring or it didn't really catch my attention because it did. It was a bomb book. But compared to the others, this was probably my least favorite. Um, but still read it. Oh my gosh. Um, because a lot of crazy stuff happened in here again. Um, but basically, now, uh, Connor and Alex the twins they go into connor's stories so he wrote um uh, short stories and they go into his short stories and meet his characters like his the people he wrote about so like that's crazy so um yeah i don't know what else to say this this is just whoa 
So again, we have a beautiful cover. This one is in black, and as you can see, that's Connor and his sister, uh, and these are the characters he wrote about in his own short stories in English class, and they went into the stories to meet them and ask them for a favor, which you will figure out once you read the book. Um, and we have a backstory here, um, and yeah, so really, really cool. On the inside of the book, you can see his sketches of those characters when he was writing about them, um, so yeah awesome book and then we have the last book this one was personally my favorite this book is so good but like I literally cry when I finish reading it because it's such a good ending like it's like I he like Chris Clover couldn't wrote, write a better last book for a series and like it ended up being my favorite out of the entire series who would think but here it is it is called the land of stories worlds collide what do you think about that so you see the empire state building back there and you see a giant freaking goose with alex and connor on it so connect the dots the fairy tale world and new york clash they they clash so all the fairy tale characters go into new york like just the way he wrote this book and everything was just so creative and so interesting such a good book so many twists and turns and ups and downs and oh my gosh so uh yeah this is a hectic book but again beautiful cover this really pretty like marbly white we got the Statue of Liberty right here um, and the back uh, summary as well. And I'm gonna read the back of it because it's wowzas. So I'm just gonna read the last two sentences of the summary because it's the craziest part, but here it is. Still in disbelief, the policewoman hesitated to respond. It's magic, she said breathlessly. The library is being attacked by magic. Well, that, you guys, is my favorite book series. Please go and read The Land of Stories because I love it so much and I recommend it for all ages. Like, I'm 14 and I still love it and I've been reading the book since I was like 10. So definitely go and read it. Basically, it's just about two twins, like normal kids, who get sucked into a glowing book um, and they enter the real fairy tale world. Like that's the dream we've all had when we were little kids. So go ahead and read it. I'll leave it linked down below. And yeah, let me know down below what are your guys' favorite books or series and let me know if I should read them. And yeah, without any further ado, I'm gonna say goodbye and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go eat. Love ya, bye.